Hello and welcome. Have you ever lost your password? Thought that you would remember it? Didn't write it down? Well, if that has happened to you, then this video is for you. In this video, I will show you how to get the RoboForm Password Manager free, how to install it, the key features, and how it works. Hi, this is Rochelle, and for the people who don't know me, I do step-by-step -step video tutorials that will teach you not only how to do it, but the fastest, easiest, and most cost-efficient way to do it. No more lost passwords. Stick around. I give you just the facts. Let's get down to the video. Find this link in your description. It'll be the first link. Click into it. It'll say establishing a secure connection. You will see your file manager open up. You will then see RoboForm V8 set up and then XXXXX. You want to save this in a place where you know where to find it and just click save. It will then be downloaded to your computer. You will then click in the upward arrow and where it says show in folder you can look at it in the folder or you can open it. Here where you see you will see do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Here you can click on more details or you could just click on yes. You will then see extracting program files. Welcome to RoboForm. You can also show the advanced options if you choose by clicking into show advanced options and then click next. Where would you like to install your RoboForm in these browsers? Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, if you have Mozilla Firefox or you have Windows Internet Explorer or if your browser is not located here, you can go and visit roboform.com. Fill and save forms in Windows applications and next. Roboform saves your logins, identities, and safe notes in the folder. And see here, this is the folder that it will be saved in. Location, however, you can change the folder location for your first install. It's going to say closing applications. RoboForm must close the applications listed below to complete the installation without requiring a reboot. Clicking install will close these applications. So you just click install. RoboForm is closing the applications listed below to complete installation without requiring a reboot. Continue without closing or close and install. I am going to continue without closing as I already have. Welcome to RoboForm. Okay, so now you will see by default RoboForm will try to attach to Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, and Microsoft Edge browse browsers. Select specific browsers by checking the box below. So I have it attached to my Google Chrome, my Internet Explorer, and my Microsoft Edge. Next. Connecting to the server. Initializing, syncing, and here it will tell you you get free 30 days trial of RoboForm everywhere. So your 30 days will start from the time 
that you create your account. It will then go to your browsers and ask you to get, for Microsoft it will be an add-on, for Google Chrome it will be an extension. So now we are going to log in. This is where you will create your Roboform account just by clicking into Create Roboform Account. Simply fill out the form below to sign up for your Roboform account. All fields are required. Okay, this is important. Either memorize your password, and it must be eight characters at least, with a minimum of four characters being non-numeric. This will also be used as the Roboform master password to encrypt your data. If you forget the password, you will not be able to recover your data. So my suggestion here is get out a get out a card or a piece of paper or a sticky note and write this password down. This will be the only password that you need to write down, but you do need to write this password down. Okay, this okay. So this is going to be the only password that you need to either remember and I suggest that you write it down and to also maybe copy your password and keep it in your notepad. For example, just a new window and then save your password to your notepad. Make sure that you know what that is. Believe me, you will thank me just in case. Don't rely on your memory because sometimes memory you forget. Just going to make sure I save this information. An untitled notepad can easily be erased. Go. Now I have this information saved and I am going to now agree to Roboform terms of service and privacy policy and then submit. You will see this progressing processing bar come up. You're going to go to user settings. The first thing they're going to ask you is to verify your email. So the current email is at the DIY affiliate at gmail.com and then click verify. They will ask you to enter the email verification code. Go to either your cell phone or go on, on to your Gmail online. Anywhere that you can access the Gmail that you signed up for, you would then go into find the access code that you are looking for it will be under non-reply at online dot roboform dot com look for your access code and type your access code in click on submit.
and you will see this check mark verified. Your name, your log format, and here you can change it to HTML and PDF and, or detect automatically. So we're going to go detect automatically. You can also add your phone number and it will know whether it is a valid phone number or not. And then here are, is your storage. Here is where you can invite a new contact as an emergency contact or you could say I am an emergency contact for. Okay so here you will see email verification and this part is done. You will see account creation notification and here you can confirm your account creation. So now you can log in. You will then log in to your Roboform account. Okay, so here you will see an email that says, Welcome to Roboform. You can now begin enjoying all the great benefits of Roboform. We've also upgraded you to Roboform Everywhere for 30 days for free. Take advantage of premium features including the unlimited devices, one-click logins, instant online form filling, emergency access, secure sharing, and 24-7 support. And also it says here the one-time password option using your email has been turned on for your account. This means if you log in from a computer browser device that has not been enrolled before, one-time password will be sent by email to you to enter the received password on the device to enroll in. The first place that I'm going to go is to the three dots, down to more tools, to extensions, I will also leave the link in the description to the three straight lines and then open the Chrome Web Store. This is the easiest way that I can get there, but I will leave the link in the description for you. And then I would type in Roboform. And here you will see Roboform Password Manager and then click Add to Chrome. Checking. Read and change all data on websites you visit. Read and change your bookmarks. Communicate with cooperating native applications. Change your privacy, privacy related settings and then add extension. Roboform Password Manager has been added to Chrome. Use this extension by clicking on this icon. Now you will notice that it's disappeared so you will go into your extensions, find where Roboform is and pin to your extension, to your list of extensions here. Close that Whenever you click on Sync, you will see Sync to Roboform Online 
and you can show the details because it will show you the different folders that you have added and then you can close it. When you click on these three dots, you will see Tools, Sync. You can enable the lower toolbar, tool, toolbar, and that's sometimes what I do. And then you will see the tool, toolbar right at the bottom of your screen. When you enable the lower toolbar, you will be able to see that you can also look at your logins, your identities, your contacts, your safe nodes. You can go into your editor and I usually go into my editor because this is where you can also edit anything that you want. You can copy anything that you want. You can copy your passwords and here you can look at your logins, look at your bookmarks, the applications, identities, contacts, safe notes, what is shared, and also go to your security center to check your passwords out. You can create a new folder, a new safe note, a new identity, a new login. you can sync now or you can have automatic sync. You can go to your settings, you can restore deleted data from a recycle bin and you can clean up deleted data from a recycle bin. You can print a list of your logins, your identities and your safe notes. You can search the files, you can make a new window you could go to your security center. You can import. If you choose to import, you will see a pop-up box come up. And this pop-up box will have import data to Robifore from another password manager that you may have used. And this is your choice here. These are your browsers that you can import from Inter Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, and Microsoft Edge. And at any time you can go into your options. This is, I find the bottom toolbar is the easiest one to work with. And you can see general information and you can choose by ticking these boxes with a check mark if you choose this is what you want. Read all of them and choose what you would like to see. Your browsers and it shows you the browsers that you have installed by a circle with a check mark on it. Your toolbar and you can configure your toolbar the way that you would like it. Your account and data and here you can import and you can export. Here at any time you can see the manual on the toolbar. So if I click on manual on toolbar then it will give me a lot of different information here in which I can look up anything that I 
a need to find out the information for. At any time, I can go to my RoboForm Start page. Okay, so if you go to your logins, you can add a new login and it will show you how to create a new login. Simply navigate to a website, enter your username, password, and submit login. RoboForm will offer you to save a new login for the site. So we're going There, here is an example. Here is an example where you can use RoboForm. There we go. And since I didn't have my last name in there, which I should have, and here I can create, by seeing this icon here, I can generate the password and fill this spot and click next step. Now here it says your login has been saved. This is an example of how it will save your login. Okay. Okay, so here, when I click into this now, you will see my logins. I can create a new login, edit an existing, or print my list. And here, I can also create new bookmarks, edit existing bookmarks, and safety notes. Create new, edit, and print. Set up form filing. We're going to go with the first last name for the new identity. And then click OK. Now here is where you can fill in this information. You can also do a business. Company name, department, website, business type, employer ID, stock symbol, and your note. So you can, I can just put, you have a passport, the address, have credit card, bank account, car, and custom. This is where you can create new fields like, this is your dashboard online. Here you will see your logins, your identity, your identities, all your safe notes, what is shared with me, shared by me, and all files. When you go to your logins, you will see all of your logins. You will just click into a login and here you can view, rename, move, copy to folder, delete, create a new folder, create a shared folder, send, or use your sharing button. The same with your identities. When you click into an identity, you will be able to rename, move it, copy to folder, delete, create a new folder, create a share folder, or you will be sharing it. If you choose sharing, just click into sharing and to the recipient email and you give in, you give your permissions here. And then click share. This is with a RoboForm Everywhere account. So it will then see who has access and you will see who you are sharing to. Your safe notes are notes that you create while you are in your editor. Here are your settings, your user settings. your security, 
and this will have your master password but you won't be able to see it you won't be able to copy it so this is why you need to write your mass your your master password down because roboform cannot give you your master password and this will tell you your roboform login session will automatically log off in this many minutes and enrollment period 365 days your licenses my start date 2019 and my expiration date 2021-06-29 emergency access okay since you are using the roboform uh, everywhere you can add an emergency contact and it would be a good idea to do that the referral program And here you have your own personal link that you can receive. Here it says, hello, I use Roboform Password Manager and love it. I think you would too. As a first time user, when you purchase a Roboform Everywhere subscription, using my referral link, you'll receive an additional six months free. So you can give somebody this, this uh, for their subscription Now here it says your login has been saved. This is an example of how it will save your login. Okay. Anytime you can go to the Roboform start page. Here you can see your home pinned all of your files, logins and bookmarks, safe notes, identity, your emergency access, sharing center and security center. If notes, identity, your emergency access, sharing center and security center. You can look at them in the larger blocks, in the medium blocks, and the smaller blocks. You can search in your your uh, Roboform data by using the search. And at any time you can always just go right back here to your Roboform and you can go into any one of these places wherever you see an arrow this means that there is more features that you can there's more actions that you can do customize your toolbar tool search files generate passwords import search bar fields there is a lot of different options and different features that you can take advantage of and then if you get stuck then you would just go to help you could go to manual on toolbar entire manual contact support forgot password so now let's go from start to finish again saves your password so say I wanted to sign in to my Tailwind account to my dashboard I'm going to log out now I am going to log back in okay so now here you see this icon it's now showing me that this is my Tailwind and I can now log in just click on remember me and then lo it will log me in automatically so that is how you get into your login and I showed you how to create a new login 
and here you can edit your login at any time just by searching in your Roboform data and there it comes up and here I can view it I can move it I can delete it with these three up and down dots I can log in go fill go to copy the username copy the password view edit rename move clone delete add to pinned share and send so I hope that this has been enough information for you to get started with your own Roboform today and also if you decide that you don't want to upgrade and just keep the free account you can keep the free account there are some differences in the free account and the paid account the next video whoop. The next video that I have coming out, I will be talking about the Affiliates program. Roboform has an affiliate program and I will be going through all of the details of the affiliate program and how you can sign up and how you can use it. Sorry, the video was a little bit long. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something from it. If you have, then please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you will be notified of all new videos that are being posted. Until then, stay safe and have a wonderful evening.